Welcome and thank you so much for joining us one more time for another virtual truth meeting. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Este, tengo a mis fabulosas muchachas aquí. Uh, I have my uh, experts right here. We're going to do an experiment, right? Yeah, we're super excited. Awesome. I have Balan and I have Amanda. Yes, so Balan, tell us a little bit about you first. Absolutely. My name is Valen Chavez and I work at the Westside uh, Girl Scout Leadership Center and I work along with amazing Girl Experience team to provide y'all adventurous, um, super fun, relevant Girl Scout programming um, throughout the council. Awesome. What about you, Amanda? So hi, my name is Amanda Laurel. I am the Camp and Outdoor Education Manager, aka Camp Director. So what I do throughout the year um, is I'm here at the West Side with Valens, so we get to work together, which is great. Um, we get to do programs, and then come summer, we go out to Camp Lajita, and we run summer camp. So yeah. Awesome. So tell me about this experiment. I know Absolutely. it has a, a backstory. Yes. So we are going to do a very fun experiment that you can do with your daughters or your troops at home. Um, it just takes some water, uh, a little bit of hand soap or dishwash soap, whatever you have available, and some pepper. Um, and this video is brought to you by one of our fabulous teachers in Miami. Uh, I believe her name is Amanda Lorenzo. Um, and so it's been a, uh, it was a viral video um, that went viral, I guess, earlier this week. So. so before we start, every, every single time we have a true meeting, we always start with the Pledge of Allegiance and the Promise. So should we, who wants to lead that one? Okay, are you guys ready? Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Now, ahora lo vamos a hacer en español. We're going to do it in Spanish, the promise. Por mi honor, yo trataré de servir a Dios y a mi patria, ayudar a las personas en todo momento, y vivir conforme a la ley de los Girl Scouts. Awesome. So, who's ready to start? I am. Woo, I'm ready. <laughs> and before we start, we do want to give a shout out to uh, Jasmine and Sabrina. They're going to be right here. They're going to be reading your comments. So, make sure you comment, make sure you share the video uh, so you so that everybody has the opportunity to learn and uh, have, do this activity at home. Okay? Okay, let's start. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. So, first we're going to make our germ water. Uh, with a little bit by adding a little bit of pepper to our clean water. So we have this plate right here and there's a little bit of water on the plate, right? Yes. Okay, so then let's give our audience a little bit of time to get your plate and then put a little bit of water on the plate. Mm -hmm. So make sure you do that. I'll probably give you like a minute or so if that works. Absolutely. And then we're gonna put it be once we have a little bit of water on the plate, we're gonna put some pepper, right? Yes. So once everyone has had a chance, you can use a bowl, you can use a plate, whatever you would like. Go ahead and add um, a little bit of water, and then you're gonna grab some pepper. It can be ground pepper, it can be white pepper, preferably black pepper, just so you can actually see the germs, uh, because this represents germs, the invisible germs around us. Um, you know, a lot of times we go outside, we're touching things, or if your kids or um, touching high touch surfaces, um, this kind of represents the invisible germs that might accumulate on those surfaces. Let me see. And no worries, we make sure we uh, had we sanitize this and we'll sanitize it at the end. <laughs> and this is a pepper. I just want to show you what we used real quickly. Okay, so let me give you while you guys are setting this up, uh, let's go with our ladies right here. Any comments? Where is people watching from? Yes, we have Somerset. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, we have a few shout outs. We have people watching from Troop 52905, Troop 2215, Troop 16396. We have Gabby from San Antonio from Troop 145. Hey, and we have people watching from Minnesota, Troop 
77114 from Michigan. We have Elsa from San Antonio. We have Melinda from Florida. Nice. We have Lauren from Troop 153. We have girls watching from Arizona, Austin, Texas, Us, Iowa. Yeah. What about you, uh, Jasmine? Who's watching on your side? Let's see. We've got the Navajo Nation watching with us. Ooh, so welcome. Austin Troop 44608. We've got Orlando, Michigan, Minnesota. Uh, let's see. Eagle Pass Troop 850. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Daniela from Troop 80132. Arizona, Grace Tucker and Victoria Tucker, also from San Antonio. We've got Pittsburgh, Troop 16051. Uh, let's see. Palmdale, California. And Welcome, California. Yes. Jasmine, so since you're there, can you tell us a bit about you and you know your title here in our pencil and what you do? Absolutely. As I said, my name is Jasmine. I'm the Gamma Sigma Specialist here at Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. Gamma Sigma is a premier leadership development club in partnership with school districts across the city of San Antonio. Um, we work in partnership with teachers, counselors and all kinds of school staff in our middle schools and high schools across San Antonio to provide the girls the Girl Scout experience to girls who do not have history of Girl Scouts in their family. Awesome. Okay, so I think everybody's ready, right? Let's yes. continue with the experiment right here. Absolutely. Okay, so by now you should have either a bowl or plate full of water um, sprinkled, especially for those that are just joining us. We are doing a, a very fun experiment yes. about the importance of washing your hands. So if you want to show right now, we are asking. I don't know if I have that. It's okay. To do that. <laughs> you can do this at home. It just takes a little bit of um, yeah, regular tap water, either a light plate or a bowl. Go ahead and fill it up about halfway and then sprinkle some pepper. Uh, use it sparingly. Um, and this is going to represent uh, the invisible germs that surround high touchable surfaces. So now that we have our germ water available, so we're going to take um, our index finger and go ahead and stick it into the water. And I would ask kids that are doing this at home, um, what do you observe um, when you put your finger in water? So okay. what do you observe, Amanda and Floor, as you're doing this right now? And comment below. Uh, in so we can see what you're observing, what your kids are observing. Yes. So you can stick your finger in the water and then you pick it up. Can I stick my whole hand? You can stick your whole hand, yeah. Let's see. I know kids would love this. I'm having a lot of fun here. Okay, let's see. And then pick it up and you should turn over your hand or your finger and there should be a little bit of dirt, if not a lot, a bit of dirt. Um, represented by the pepper. And so this is what happens when anytime we're out at the store or you're at school or at work and you're touching um, very public surfaces where you have high traffic areas um, and there are germs that get transferred from person to person from thing to thing, okay? So, so now... So imagine if I have all my germs right here and then I come and shake your hand. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, and then, <laughs> or if you have a child and then they cough, right? What does mom always tell you to do? Cover your mouth when you cough. Or when you have to sneeze, cover your mouth when you have to sneeze. Because what happens is those germs get onto your hands and then yeah, you go, you and, exactly. Or you high five somebody or you hug somebody and you're transferring those germs from one person to another. Um, how about you, Amanda? Do you have any um, observations you'd like to share? Yeah, I have the black pepper on my fingers. Um, so yeah, just like Valen said, it represents the germ water, and germs are technically all over my hands right now. So, so now yeah. we're going to go into the next step and actually uh, use the soap, the soap water, or if it's just soap, go ahead and put a little bit of soap on your, oh yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and wash our hands, right? So get some soap. So while we wash our hands, any comments, ladies over here, Sabrina? And don't forget to introduce yourself, Sabrina. Hi, I'm Sabrina. I'm the Girl Experience Specialist here at uh, Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. So I do put on programs for girls kinder through fifth grade. 
um, right now in our comments. We will give some shout outs. So we have um, a Girl Scout that is her first time in Troop 154. Congratulations. Yay. We have uh, Troop 51607. We have, we also have a comment um, who is congratulating our staff here at Girl Scouts. They say that we're rocking this and we've been an inspiration to the rest of them. So thank y'all so much for your positive comments. Gracias. Okay, so now that we've added soap to our hand or finger, depending if you submerged your entire hand, um, go ahead and put the soapy finger or hand into the water and observe what it does. Can we get a close up of this? And so we're putting our hand or our finger into the water. Oh, there. So it should dispel. It goes, it moves away. Let's see it, let's do it again. Let's see, let's see. Put more, you can put more paper too. Okay, let's, you wanna put more? Yeah, so you wanna try. Let's see. Let me put more so you can actually see how this works. It looks pretty cool. Let's see. So Do you see, see how, how it moves away? The soap water actually dispels the germs <laughs> and it moves away. It almost creates like a protective shield, right? Yes. So this is why it's so important for everyone to be washing their hands for at least 20 seconds. And we have um, a, a little song that we would like to teach you. Uh, some of you may not know it. Or on our next segment, we're gonna teach you a little song that you can sing uh, while you wash your hands or while your daughters or your troops or your children um, are washing their hands to ensure that they are washing for 20 seconds. So before we move to the other uh, little activity, uh, go ahead girls, go and wash your hands because I know you guys have the soap on your hands like I do. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, wash your hands, and then uh, we are going to move to the other room where we're gonna do that other activity. So go wash your hands to the restroom, and then we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, don't, but make sure you don't disconnect. <laughs> Take it away. Hi, so today we're going to be learning how to properly wash our hands. There are going to be a few steps we're going to be teaching y'all and the importance of washing hands is really we're trying to um, prevent the spread of germs and ensure that we're not spreading these germs to our community. So um, what you need is a sink with water and you need some soap. Bar soap or hand soap um, works just as well, so the pump soap is what I mean. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started. And let's give, let's, let's give them a little bit of time so they can get to the restroom or the kitchen. Um, so, yeah. yes. Okay, so once you're in the restroom or the kitchen. So once you're in the restroom or in the kitchen, what you'll go ahead and do is you'll go ahead and, so step one would be um, turning on the water and applying water to your hands to wet them. Once you're done, make sure that you turn off the water to conserve water. Step two, um, what you'll do now is you'll apply soap to your hands. And once you've applied soap to your hands, you wanna make sure to lather your hands. Um, when we mean lathering, we mean by rubbing your hands together, ensuring that you're covering all surfaces of your hands, getting the backs of your hands, getting in between your fingers, even the thumbs, and also getting underneath your fingernails. As some of you may or may not know, dirt does reside under your fingernails, so it's very important that we clean under our fingernails. And while we are washing your ha our hands, we typically wanna be washing our hands for 20 seconds. Um, and so uh, a good, if you need a timer to help you wash your hands in the 20 seconds, you can sing the Make New Friends two times, or if you don't know that, you can also sing Happy Birthday two times. Okay. So let's do the Make New Friends, right? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Make new friends to keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. The circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Make new friends to keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. The circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Alright, 
So once we've lathered our hands with soap, what we'll be doing next is we'll turn on the water and make sure that whenever you wash your hands, you're washing your hands with clean water. We're gonna wash all the soap off of our hands. We're gonna turn off the water and step five consists of us actually drying our hands, ensuring that we're drying our hands with either a clean towel or we can air dry, whichever you prefer. I will be cleaning, drying my hands with a clean towel. And if you don't have soap or water um, available, you can also use hand sanitizer. Um, with hand sanitizer, just make sure that uh, it has 60% of alcohol and you're reading the directions before you use the hand sanitizer. There are a few steps for the hand sanitizer. Typically what you want to do is you want to um, apply one pump or however much the directions may say, one pump to one palm of your hands like so, and we have our hand sanitizer. Second step, you'll be rub rubbing your hands together and making sure that you're covering all of the surfaces of your hands. Step three is covering all surfaces of your hands. And as you are washing your hands, or not washing, hand san sanitizing your hands, um, just make sure you're still doing the same thing, getting under your fingernails and the palms of your hands and in between your fingers. And you're gonna be hand sanitizing for about 20 seconds uh, or until your hands are completely dry. So that is pretty much it for our segment. Thank you so much for watching us. We appreciate you and we hope that you continue to con wash your hands and hand sanitize every day. So, and, be and before we end, every se we always end a group meeting with the, make well, with the friendship circle and the, uh, uh, and the song that we just sang. Uh, make new friends but since we cannot uh, you know hold hands or get so close to do the friendship circle we are just going to sing the song so uh, we have all of our staff here they want to join us at uh, keeping some social distancing um, so we can sing the song um, okay ready one two three make new friends but keep the old one is silver a circle is round, it has no end, that's how long I want to be your friend. Bye, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow, we have the second part of uh, To Be a Citizen Scientist with Dr. Cynthia, and also we have a story time as well at 10 and 1 p.m. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, also, we'll be here with the team and we're gonna do another experiment so you can earn. It's the first activity to earn your Valero patch. Uh, it's, it's very fun. We're gonna have fun too, just like this morning. So tune in at 1 p.m. Bye, Bye. thank you.